I was very disturbed to read about hundreds of violent threats being made against Premier Rachel Notley. According to media reports, over two dozen uh, of these threats reached a sufficiently high threshold that they were referred by the Alberta Protection Service to police for criminal investigation. This is totally outrageous. You know, to threaten an elected official, particularly a head of government, is to threaten democracy itself. It is not just legitimate, it's, it, it's necessary in a democracy that we should disagree with go particular government policies. Goodness knows I do that every day in, in opposing various policies of the NDP government. But we must never imagine that our disagreement on policy can justify hateful or violent language or even less threats. Uh, that, that is stepping outside the bounds of democratic conduct. Look, I, I've been on the receiving end of violent threats in the past. It isn't pleasant. But to see our Premier facing hundreds of these threats is totally unacceptable. And I have to say, I, I have seen on social media a kind of, often a kind of um, abusive language used to characterize our Premier that I just find totally unacceptable. It wasn't right when people use that kind of language against uh, Stephen Harper any more than it's right when they direct it to Premier Rachel Notley. She deserves the respect uh, that is due to her office and just as an individual committed to public service. If you're frustrated with the policies of the NDP, I understand. But channel that frustration into positive democratic political action uh, as opposed to using uh, the language of violence or threats. So I invite people right across the political spectrum, regardless of our views, uh, to join together as Albertans, as small d Democrats, just as human beings, to condemn uh, the kind of language that leads to threats which undermine our very democracy.